Uh, well, obviously, thir my days are all screwed up, but Thursday night didn't uh, go the way we wanted. Um, I think you have, to, you have to give Valpo credit. Uh, they made plays down the stretch. We did not make plays uh, on either end of the floor. Um, and we certainly didn't make enough in the fourth quarter uh, to win the game. Um, I, I thought the momentum changed. And basketball is a game of runs. I mean, we understand that. We know that. Um, I thought the game really started to shift um, when Shea made the, the four-point play. Uh, and we just we never recovered. Um, we missed a lot of open shots. We missed a lot of easy shots. Uh, and we just wasn't focused in the fourth quarter. Um, and when you're playing, um, the thing that we needed to learn from that game is every possession counts, um, both offensively and defensively. Uh, and we have to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. So it really came down to not making enough plays and, and then making plays, and you have to give them credit uh, for that. Um, we watched a little film. Um, the next day, talked a lot about more of it being a, a mental toughness thing, of being able to um, hit open shots. It's not like we're taking a lot of contested shots, uh, but being able to hit open shots, get ourselves to the free throw line, um, hit twos, um, and, and defend with some urgency. And I thought we did a much better job of, of doing that. Uh, obviously, we shot the basketball very well. Um, Went to the free throw line 29 times. Um, when you shoot 52% from the field and 46 from the from the three, uh, and you get yourself to the free throw line, uh, so good, some good things happened. I thought Carly was terrific. Um, she was aggressive from start to finish. And, and what made her so good is she scored in a variety of ways. Uh, it wasn't just the three. She was very explosive off the bounce. She got to the free throw line. Uh, she hit threes. Uh, just a terrific job. Uh, by her. Um, we switched up our starting lineup and we did that uh, because I wanted to put a bigger body on Shea. I, I think uh, she's one of the best guards in the league and I, I thought she was terrific uh, and was really hard for us to handle the night before. So we wanted to start off with a, a bigger body on her. Um, and so we started Emerson. I thought Emerson played uh, very, very well. Uh, we ended up putting Bree on her as well um, to try to slow her down. Um, but she, she's terrific. Eventually, she's going to find a way to score, and she, and she did. Uh, but I liked um, the toughness that this team showed to bounce back after really kind of not finishing uh, the night before. Um, I'm always going to give credit where credit's due. And again, I, I thought Valpo did a terrific job of, of finishing out the night before, and we didn't. But I loved our toughness and our heart to come back and, and get a, a road win, a very tough road win. Any questions? Looking at the matchup that was at point guard between Carly Rucker and Shea Frederick this past week, you know, what's it like just having two of the better point guards in the Valley just go at each other like that? Well, at former point guard myself, I, I love it. I mean, I love it on my side, but I'm trying to figure out how to defend this kid. Um, but it, it, it was terrific. Uh, one of the things that I actually said to her after the game um, on Friday is I – I told her she was terrific. I enjoy watching her play. Um, and then uh, her coach came up to me and said, you know, I always really challenge her because when we play you and I because we think Rutgers that good. So compliments to both young women. I thought um, it was great head to head. Uh, I thought both of them did a terrific job. And, and you know, I, I do want to say this about Shay. I think what she does extremely well is she really does a terrific job of controlling the tempo. She rarely gets sped up. She's always poised. And she, she does exactly what they need her to do. She knows when to take over and when to get everyone one else involved. And you can't teach that. And then we have that on our side as well. So it was fun what fun matchup for me as a as a former point guard myself. How challenging is it from you and I side? This is set up to be the third week in a row where you're facing a conference team coming off a layoff that you don't have a lot of recent video. Just how tough has that challenge been week after week to start conference play? 
Well, I mean, you know, we talk about having to be able to adapt, right? And, and this, this is no different. Um, and, and you're going to have to be able to be in tune to in-game adjustments. Uh, this is not new for us. Um, in, in Missouri State, <laughs> it doesn't matter how long of a layoff it's been. I mean, those kids are veteran. They're all of those kids played in the Sweet 16. They won the conference last year. Um, they're driven. They're well coached. Um, they're, they're going to be just fine. So we will prepare um, just like we normally would. Uh, we have enough on them. They still do a lot of the same things. Um, and I, there's no doubt in my mind they will be ready to play, as will we. Thanks and good luck this week. Appreciate it, Chris. Coach, talk a little bit about the value continuing to get um, I don't know if it's a balanced attack, but you're getting production from, from everybody offensively. And we, we're going to continue to new, need that. You know, sometimes we put a lot of, um, a lot of pressure on Carly. Uh, and what is the beauty of this team is you do. You have several kids that can score in a variety of ways. And, and when we get that consistency, we have a chance to be very, very good. Um, you know, Cam had struggled, but I, I really liked – Cam's mindset Friday night. I thought she allowed the game to come to her. I thought she slowed down. Uh, I thought she defended well. She she got some some tough calls, but her her mindset stayed positive, and she made some plays for us that we needed for her to make. Kayla Morgan came in, uh, had some big plays for us in the first half. Uh, Cynthia Wolf continues to give us great minutes off the bench. Um, Maya as Maya continues to learn. Um, to control the tempo, um, the most important thing, and making sure that she gets us into stuff and we don't turn it over. She's going to continue to give us good minutes, but extremely pleased. And Sarah McCullough is doing some really good things. You know, I, I've said this before, I forget that she she's a true freshman. Um, I mean, these are, are freshman minutes for her. So I'm really excited about what Sarah's doing as well. But if, if we can stay healthy and, and continue to uh, come to practice to get better and not just go through the motions and value every single possession, this, this, this team really has a chance. So hopefully uh, we're continue to, continuing to learn from the lessons. They hear from a lot of coaches, uh, you need to try and split on the road, protect your home floor, feeling like a split is almost what you go for on the road and you know a sweep would be would be stealing uh, a couple for sure same, same mentality for you looking at how how deep the league is. exactly the the league is very deep and i i think especially with the the new setup um, you know, we've always talked about trying to get that first one and then getting greedy on that second one. Um, but the way it's set up, it, it, it's going to be hard. And if you can get a sweep, boy, uh, you, you better have some, some Diet Dr. Pepper at the, the end of the evening to celebrate because it's going to be hard. This league is that good. Um, and then, and then you got to remember there, there's not a lot of time um, to make adjustments. Uh, for that next game, and you're playing the same opponent, I mean, less than 24 hours after. So it's really hard, um, but if, if you can get a sweep, it's definitely worth celebrating. Definitely worth celebrating.